When Zinedine Zidane was appointed manager of Real Madrid in January 2016, following the dismissal of Rafa Benitez, there was little evidence that he would succeed. Hello everyone, welcome back to Flick It Football. That's why in today's video, we're going to discuss how good was Zidane. So make sure to watch this video till the end. His managerial resume was scant. He had spent a season as one of Carlo Ancelotti's assistants in the Real Madrid dugout with little to do. He'd made no impression as manager of Castilla, Real Madrid's B-team, which failed to gain promotion from Spain's third tier during the 2014-15 season. Then, after a shaky start that included a 1-0 loss to Atletico Madrid in February 2016, his Real Madrid team took off. He brought home the coveted 11th Champions League title. He has a Spanish record unbeaten run of 40 games and is on the verge of winning Real Madrid's first league title since 2011-12 as well as becoming the first manager to win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues in the competition's current format. Was there any evidence that Zidane, a great footballer, could become a great manager? Is he a good or unlucky manager? According to John Carlin, author of White Angels, Beckham, Real Madrid and the New Football and columnist for El País, what makes a good coach or a bad coach is baffling and mysterious. It's part of football's allure. The fan usually chooses to give managers magical abilities, as if they were alchemists capable of transforming base matter into gold. Everything is constantly surprising. We make our decisions after the event. We can't predict anything ahead of time. The Zidane case is particularly instructive. Anyone who used logic and looked at the facts would not have predicted that he would be a successful coach. His experience was unremarkable. There is no way Real Madrid or any other Spanish first division club would have hired him as a first team coach if his name wasn't Zinedine Zidane. He got there because of his name and his outstanding playing career. He exemplifies the coach's mystique. He's been incredibly successful as Real Madrid manager, but if you ask me if he'd be successful if he went to Tottenham Hotspur, Chelsea or Manchester United next season, my instinct would be to say, no, he'd be a disaster there. But who can say? Paco Pavone, who coined the phrase Zidane y Pavones while playing alongside Zidane during his five seasons with Real Madrid, says Zidane's collegiate nature has stood out to him. When he was a player, his way of relating to his teammates was also very good, and I believe that this has helped him greatly now as a trainer. Pavone points to the moment Zidane took over from Benitez as a watershed moment. The cop-on from the Frenchman was exactly what the squad needed. Benitez's overbearing tactics had not gone down well with all of his players. Zidane came into the locker room with a complicated situation, Pavone explained. He brought peace of mind and common sense. Carlin also mentions Zidane's zen. He exudes a sense of calm, he said. He's the polar opposite of Jose Mourinho, who was excitable and sought scapegoats among referees while managing Real Madrid. Zidane presents an image of great balance. He's always extremely relaxed, somehow above the craziness of football. Zidane gained instant street cred as well. For over a decade, the replay of his stunning winning goal in the 2002 Champions League final against Bayer Leverkusen has been the final scene in the montage of Real Madrid's glorious goals that play before home games at the Santiago Bernabeu. Perhaps Zidane's most notable achievement as Real Madrid coach has been his ability to keep an ego-laden squad on track. He's used a lot of rotation, effectively playing a B-team on the road for easier league ties. Only Sergio Ramos and Casemiro from his regular first team 11 started Saturday's 4-0 win over Granada. The key to Zizou's success has been his magnificent management of the squad as well as his ability to convince players, Pavone said. Cristiano Ronaldo has been persuaded by Zidane of the benefits of rest. He wants him to sing during the crucial months of April and May. For several years, an aging Ronaldo has struggled at the end of the season, notably missing the Champions League final in 2014 and 2016. According to Diario AS, he played every minute of every league game last season until the 34th game, more than any other player in the league. Only he was exhausted in the Champions League final against Atletico Madrid in Milan. Anyway, that's it for today's video. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and for more such content, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.